My most painful was uh, losing to uh, Lee Priest. Uh, he was a little guy. I so was a big guy. Losing to a 5'4 guy was yeah, kind of... Yeah. I was five times depressed. Five times <laughs> depressed. <laughs> The next time, if someone asks me a question, like, Lee, what's it like to compete with those big guys? Use the word tall, not big. Because really, those guys are six foot, and their measurements are the same as mine by four and a half. That makes them the small guys. He was so much against steroids. The starting, he actually competed clean. I mean, has been times when yes, he's had to take drugs, and he's been very, very open about that. As a matter of fact, he's paid many a fine. He's paid more out in fines than he's ever won in money because he will tell people what he's on, what he's had to take to get onto that stage. So he took the very minimal. to me I've seen Ronnie Coleman obviously I competed with him no one could ever blow your mind like Lee Priest looked when he was 21 years old fucking nuts right it was I walked in the gym and I remember like looking at him and saying how is that even possible he could barely walk his legs were so big <laughs> and I think he almost downsized as his career went on but he was massive what do you think he was weighing when you seen him 260 but he was, wasn't was fat no. right and, you know, he's shorter, yeah. but he was unbelievable. And uh, I remember Ed Raven, you got to see this kid. You know, and I'm thinking, gosh, this guy's a year older than me. How is it possible? What did I do? I, did, I never got into it to compete. I got into it because I wanted to look like he man. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed training. Like I said, to competing, I fucking hated it. If that's yeah. why I had to do it, I wouldn't have done it. I just wanted to play key man, I wanted to look a certain way and I enjoyed going to the gym because it's what I always did. Then when I got into the drag racing or just racing in general, I loved it. And I find that anything I've done, if you enjoy it and love it and it doesn't seem like work, yeah. you're going to excel at it. Simple as that, there's no other reason to it. But if you find you've got to force yourself to do something, you're like, oh fuck, i got to do this again, i got to go to work and do this. You're never going to give it your best or whatever because you're just there, <laughs> of a paycheck to paycheck, doing the job because you have to do the job. So I always tell people, find what you want to do in life what makes you happy and sometimes that's hard because you might be stuck in a job that you can't get out of right away but if you can work towards what makes you happy and there's nothing better than doing something that you love and have a passion for and getting paid to do it yeah. it makes a whole big difference so. I do try, it's like I tell people now, 
that for me, Paul? I was just saying on a thing the other day that my biggest pet hate is when people say, Glee, what's the best exercise for this or what's the best for that? I tell them, you got to work that out yourself because you're like me saying for biceps, for me, barbell feels the best. For me, you might go, well, I feel more doing dumbbell curl. I get more of a squeeze and stuff. Well, if that's what you feel, do that. Don't just feel because I got big arms. You know, people say, well, Clutch has big legs, he does this, I'm going to do that. When for you, that might not be beneficial. So.